Hello everyone, this is Piyush. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, let's look at how to file your federal taxes using the Glacier Tax software. So without wasting any time, let's get into it. The tax season is here. The deadline for filing taxes is April 15th, 2025. So we want to make sure that we fill out all the forms for federal as well as state taxes before this deadline. This video is specifically for people who have access to the Glacier Tax software. This is one of the softwares that is provided by many universities across the US. I was a student at Purdue and they provide us with the Glacier Tax software access. So if you fall into one of these universities that have access to the Glacier software, this video is for you. Glacier Tax software files the federal taxes for us. You just have to input some of the data and they will fill out all the required forms for you. But a thing to note is that this is only for federal taxes. If you were working in any state such as Indiana, New York, California, it's your duty to fill out the tax forms. You can do it yourself or you can go to any paid agent to get that done. But the Glacier software is a good tool to file taxes for us, especially the federal taxes. So make sure you take complete advantage of that. Before you start inputting your data in the Glacier tax software, make sure you have all the income forms ready with you. The main form that you would have for your income would be the form W-2. If you work part-time during the year, you work full-time, you had internships, you will get a form W-2 from your employer. If you had any investments or you put it in a high yield savings account, you will get a form 1099 INT, which is an interest income form. If you received any dividends from investment, you will receive form 1099 DIV. So there are quite a few forms that you might get, but the employers, it might be your university, it might be any company, they will send out these forms typically by the month of February. So if you don't have it, make sure to contact your HR or your payroll department to make sure you get all the right set of documents before you start working on the Glacier software. So I will start sharing my screen and let's see how to file federal taxes using Glacier. The first step is going to the Glacier online tax software. Click this link right here and log in using your user ID and password. Make sure you read the terms and then click I accept. Then start with create update view my individual record and click on next. Make sure to select the option that is the most relevant to you. I'm no more a student at Purdue. I just graduated. So none of these apply to me. Earlier, I was a student worker during my part time. But now the most relevant option for me is this. So make sure you select the option that is relevant to you and then click on next. Then click on compensation wages if you received any income or select no income if you didn't receive any income from Purdue. Start by entering your first name, middle name and last name and enter your email address. This should mostly be the Purdue email address, but I don't have access to that email anymore. That's why I included my personal email. Enter your social security number right here or if you don't have, then select one of these options. You can leave this blank if you don't have anything and then enter your Purdue ID starting with two zeros. Then click on next. Enter your US address where you are currently residing. Then enter your permanent foreign address might be Indian address or any other country that you are living in outside the US. Then select your country of citizenship and country of tax residence. Mostly it should be your country of residence if it's not US. So here indicate the institution that sponsored you or will sponsor your current US immigration status. Even though I graduated from Purdue, I still have a form I-20 which is still endorsed by Purdue University. So that's why I selected Purdue. You can select the relevant option from these three options. Then select your current immigration status. I am currently on my STEM OPT which is why I selected this option. Make sure you select the option that's most relevant to you. Enter your original date of entry, the date that you first came to the US and in here you will select the end date of your stay in the US. It might be the end date on your I-20. If you have an EAD card, that might be the expiry date of your EAD card. Select the option that is relevant to you. I entered as a F1 student and still a F1 student, which is why I selected the first option. Now here they ask like how long have you been present in the US so you have to deduct all the days that you were not in the US so you went for a trip to India or any other country make sure you deduct the exact number of days in each of the calendar year. The calendar year starts from January 1st to 31st December so calculate the days accordingly. 
and if you had been to the us prior to your current visit so before being an f1 student if you had been to the us as a tourist visa or on business visa make sure you select the second option and enter the information appropriately then the glacier software would automatically calculate the number of days that you were present in the us in each calendar year this page shows all the details based on the inputs you had in the previous steps now the glacier has created a tax summary report and the form w4 for you make sure you review and print these forms see if the name and all the other details on the form is correct if it's not go to the previous steps to make the changes accordingly and if it's correct make sure to save it in your desktop but remember that this is not the actual tax forms to be sent to the government we still have some steps to follow now you have to make sure that all the forms that were received in the previous steps the w4 and all the document copies mentioned before whether it's one i94 i20 and so on you have to mail the copy of these documents to the address and the person mentioned right here remember that you don't have to send them your tax forms the actual tax forms that we will be filing in the next steps only send the documents that were asked for in the previous step and you have to submit these copies within 21 days as per mentioned here so make sure you follow the timelines and send the documents on time so our individual record is created now the next step is going to select other activities to perform so now that we have updated our individual record the next step is going to complete my us tax return using glacier tax prep make sure the detail here is correct whether it's your name social security number and expiration of immigration status if it's correct press yes and click on next then again confirm your email address your us address as well as foreign address then enter your passport number and click on next make sure you read all these terms and conditions from glacier before accepting it then click on continue to gtp now it will redirect you to the glacier tax prep which files the actual forms that need to be sent to the irs let's start with the step 1 so here again confirm your name email address alternate email passport number country of citizenship and so on we have already filled that so it will be auto populated but make sure it's correct then this asks like uh, what was your visit information so date of arrival and estimated dates of exit so starting from the first day that you arrived in the us so i came first to the us on december 28 2021 then i went to india on may 10 then again i came back on august 19 again went to india on july 22 so you have to start with this and make sure you include all your visits the last visit should be still in us if you are currently in the us so make sure you fill this correctly and also fill the immigration status selecting the options from this list and then click on next this will show you the summary again of your name email address the status of your arrival this shows you all your us visits and the total number of days you were present in the us in each calendar year based on the information that you inputted in the previous step So now they say that you are a non-resident alien for tax purposes so glacier tax prep will assist you in your tax filing because they are specifically helping the non-resident aliens let's go to the step 2 in the step 2 you have to add all the forms that you received from the government the main form if you only work part time should be the form w2 which you will receive from your employer so whether you work with your university you work with rmr adp and so on you will receive a form w2 typically by the month of january or february so once you receive that click on add form then make sure you and input the detail as it is from your form w2 if you open your w2 you will see all these boxes right here so you can put the identification number the wages that you received exactly as it is you will see the box 1 on your actual w2 box 2 on your actual w2 and so on so fill out all these details then below you just click like who was the type of institution that reported this income if it was a part time from your university click college or university but as i graduated from purdue for me it's a corporate entity so i will select corporate entity and click on save then you keep continuing 
to enter all the forms that you received like it's not necessary that you will receive all the forms like for some of them or for most of them it should be only form w2 but some people also receive 1042s which is a tax form related to some tax treaties i think 1099b is if you had any capital gains from the stock market 1099div is if you received any dividends from the investment that you might have made the 1099g is any refund that you received from the state or local taxes from the last year the 1099int is the interest income that you might have received 1099 miscellaneous is any miscellaneous income that you might have received 1099nec is i think nec stands for not effectively connected income i i'm not honestly sure about 1099r because i never received that but make sure you enter all the forms that you had received accordingly and you will see all the boxes that needs to be filled and if you open the form that is provided by for example if you receive dividend you will get it from your broker it might be robin hood public etc you will see exactly this form so you just have to enter all the boxes that are highlighted in yellow and then click on save remember that if you had multiple w2s then you will add keep on adding forms you don't have to sum up the values in a single form for example you worked with two different employers and have two different w2 you will add form save it and click on add form again so you will have two separate forms don't just sum it up that might mess the tax filing once you are done with filling out all these forms just click on next now it says that US India Income Treaty allows you to claim standard deduction so Glacier will automatically make sure to have that information in your tax filing forms then we can click on next so now it basically shows like the summary of the income that you had this is just for dummy purposes so I haven't exactly inputted my data it was just to show you all like how the tax filing is filled but basically it will show the information of all the incomes you had if you add the interest income it will be shown here and then it will show the total us income right here then let's go to the step 3 again make sure that your us address is correct and click on next again enter your foreign address right here then enter your social security number select your marital status as of the last day of 2024 next step is to enter the name of designated school official and all the relevant details for, for purdue remember that it's not the same as your i20 because even your i20 shows the dso but as per the instructions you have to fill out the name of a certain person which is mentioned on the purdue vita website if you are from some other university make sure to confirm this with your international students office to make sure you don't mess this up so this detail that i have filled right here is specifically for purdue so you can just copy it for other universities again make sure you confirm it before filling these details and then click on next the next is student loan interest it asks like did you pay any interest to a us bank so it is not if you got a loan from india and you put the interest here it is only specific to if you got a loan from a us bank or financial institution then it asks like did you make any contributions to a us charity select the option that is appropriate for you the next is during 2024 did you make any estimated federal tax payments no i made no estimated tax payment using this form if you use this form click this option next question is did you sell any cryptocurrency in the last year if you did click on yes or no then relationship to the us like all these options should be selected based on your individual situation prior tax return if you had any tax return that you filed last year make sure you click yes if this is your first time then click on no and also if you selected yes make sure to select the form that you filled out as an international student it should most probably be 1040 nr the next is like if you were eligible for a refund and you told irs to apply it to your next year tax return click on yes but most probably we have the refund directly credited in our bank account after the tax filing so most probably it should be this but make sure you double check and read these options carefully so it says congratulations you are due a refund so as i mentioned most of the students especially from india do get a refund as an international student so glacier will calculate that for you and say that oh you have a refund of these many dollars now how would you like to receive your tax refund the best option to select is direct deposit because otherwise they will send the check and it 
has a chance to get misplaced so i would highly recommend you select this option where they credit the money directly in your us bank account now it says that gtp will not file any tax documents their duty was only to fill out the forms for you it's still your duty to print out review make sure all the information is correct sign and mail to the correct address on time to make sure your tax filing is completed now select your type of bank account savings or checkings and then enter your routing number and account number make sure to enter it correctly because this is where you will get your refund if you mess it up then your refund would be gone then click on next it asks do you have any dependents who need form 8843 so if you have any dependents click on yes otherwise no So now the GTP has filled out all the forms for me and they have sent it via PDF. This shows the list of forms that they sent me and filled out for me which includes the form 1040NR which is the main form for federal taxes, schedule Y which is required and form 8843 which is required to be compliant with your US visa. So make sure you print and view forms. Just have a glance and see that all the numbers are matching all the name all the information is correct because we don't want to mess it up if if we mess it up then again we have to file an amended return which adds an additional step so we want to ensure that everything is correct sometimes it's easier to mess up with the numbers instead of one you might put two and interchange the number so it's a it's a good thing to double check or even triple check your forms then save these forms securely on a desktop or wherever you feel comfortable and click on next now it says based on the information you entered that where where all you might be eligible to pay state taxes if you were working in say california it's your duty that you fill out the california tax return separately by yourself glacier tax prep won't be assisting you in that their duty was to only fill out the federal taxes for you all the state taxes that you are eligible for it might be indiana california new york or any other state that you were working in the last year it's your duty to fill out the forms for the state tax So that's it for GTP. They fill out your federal tax forms. Now the next step is printing out these forms for federal taxes and sending it to correct address before the deadline. And the second step is to fill out all the relevant state tax forms. As you saw, the tax filing using Glacier is not that difficult. You just have to make sure you input all the data in the software correctly. Make sure to double check the data because if you make any mistakes, you will have to send all the forms again. Please remember that it's not done when you just input your data in the software. It's your duty to print out these forms, sign and date wherever required, and send it to the IRS before the deadline and on the correct address. Only then will your filing be considered complete for federal taxes. Once you send out the forms to the IRS, you can keep checking your status on the IRS website for refund status or your payment status. So it will show if your return is received, if your forms are approved, and so on. Share this video with your friends who have access to the Glacier software to make sure they do it correctly and file their taxes on time. Like and subscribe my channel if you find my content useful. Feel free to comment down if you have any questions for me. Thank you again for watching this video. Until next time.